I think it's fair to say, both of us, a little shocked by what we've just, just seen there. Don't know what's going on. I was, I was expecting to there to be a noticeable difference. And, and for me, I'd be splitting hairs if, to say there was any okay. difference. And then, and then, no. I'd have loved to have all them balls have been blank. Yeah, because I couldn't, tested, I yeah. couldn't tell which one was which. I would yeah, have been. I, I sell Pro V ones. Yeah. I don't sell seed balls. <laughs> there That's you go. independent. Doesn't get any it? more honest than that. So look. Now, without any doubt, the Titleist Pro V1 is the number one ball in golf. In fact, it always has been, and well, quite possibly, always will be. Now, TaylorMade and Callaway might have something to say about that in the future because they're making huge dents into Titleist sales. But of course they come with a huge price tag attached and almost four pound a golf ball that is a really really expensive way to potentially throw money into trees because let's be honest as golfers well we aren't very good and as a simple fact we do lose golf balls in fact there's a real interesting fact that tells us that we lose a far greater amount of golf balls than you could ever imagine. And that fact is that over 300 million golf balls are lost in the USA alone every year. They also claim that it could be as many as 600 million that are lost worldwide. I never guess who's losing them. It's you lot. And in today's video, there's gonna be a huge revelation as to why you're wasting a whole load of money on Pro V1s. In fact, it won't be just my opinion, I'm gonna hit golf balls, but I'm also gonna employ the services of a PGA professional to hit golf balls on camera. I'm also gonna collect dry ball data. We've got GC3 out on the fairways. I'm gonna do everything that I possibly can to show you why you're wasting a whole load of money on Titleist Pro V1s. Now, of course, this video is all about saving you money, but not forgiving in terms of performance. And to do that, I'm gonna introduce you to a golf ball from Seed. It is their SDX1. It's a three-piece ball with a urethane cover. It's £25 a dozen, and that is virtually half the price of what you'd pay for Pro V1s. And what I would have found out is this ball is a very similar makeup as the Pro V1. The fact is, we can save half the price, but are we gonna lose a lot in terms of performance? And that's what we're gonna find out in today's video. Right, so I've employed the services of an expert to conduct what is the second half of this test. Basically, Lou, I have just hit a number of balls with inside of uh, that fit room of yours and uh, I'm finding little difference in terms of the data yeah, yeah, not I've, that I've come to Not that I've come to question it, but we've got... <laughs> I we, think we, he's <laughs> doubting it. But we've got somebody that, first of all, has got a much more consistent strike, better strike. So what we're going to do is kick things off with a number of different scenarios outside on the golf course. Lou's going to execute the majority of those shots. And just explain scenario number one. We're just at the back of the green here. Yeah, just the green to work with. Yeah, just the back of the green. Um, you know, not much green to work with. Quite a difficult shot. It's not a shot you'd expect to spin a lot. You know, you're too close. Um, but in terms of feel and you know, sort of consistency of shot, you know, flight and sort of when it lands, how much it's going to roll out, I'd expect um, the Pro V1 to really come into its own okay. uh, in this environment. So perfect. Let's switch over to there. It's a few shots, and uh, I think we'll come back and see what your thoughts are. So Lou, we've hit three with each. You started off with a seed ball. Yeah. Like you said, you weren't expecting to see a lot of uh, sort of control in terms of spin, and, and there wasn't really. Those three no, balls. no, I wasn't expecting to, but I was expecting to maybe notice the difference. That was, that would be my, I just didn't notice the difference. No. Nope. Can't believe it. So you're following so the, the shots three Titleist shots. You know, and... I've hit six shots there. They're not all the same, clearly people can see that. Um, and, the, you know, that's just the variety of golf, isn't it? But. I couldn't tell the difference. So from a, from a field perspective, first of all? Yeah, I mean, the, the, I, was, I was expecting to there to be a noticeable difference. And, and for me, I'd be splitting hairs if, to say there was any okay. difference. And then, and then from a performance, what you've seen, when we were playing downwind as well there, Yeah. nothing that I noticed, I was side nothing, on watching them. Nothing, I really want to find a difference mm. and I just can't. Okay, So right, scenario number one, it's quite straightforward. 
I think we need to move over to maybe a wedge or nine iron into the green and uh, let's see what happens there. Right, okay, so the next scenario is uh, we're just looking at about 125 into the flag. That's a full wedge for you, uh, Lou. Um, I just think that's hit some balls, mate. Let's go with three yeah. seeds to begin with. We've got yeah, DC3 we got the... set up as well for this one. Interesting to see what happens in terms of, uh, well, a spin number, I think, would be the most interesting one. Yeah, I'm really interested in that one, how it feels here. Nice. Well, this will be interesting to see. Yeah, that's, a, that's a decent ball. Looks to be pin eye. Stopped very quickly. Yeah, if What have we got of a number? Uh, it was 8,300, that one. Okay. So one a little, a little yeah. bit down of what you'd expect. So, um, so we'll just hit three seeds in a row here, yeah. can't we? And see what they... A little bit down on what you'd expect. But, I mean, it basically come backwards on the green. Yeah, nice strike again. Similar. Very Might similar need to position, get up, I think. Well, that seems to stop very quickly again. What are yeah, we looking at number? 7,200 on that one. Okay. So again, lower than I'd expect. Well, we're looking, if you looked at dry ball data, you'd probably be considering, you know, I mean, it's kind of like we expect to see 10,000 revs of spin with a wedge in hand. We're not getting that out here on the course. Well, we've not got it so far, at least, anyway. Well, they're literally on top of one another in terms of the three shots you've hit. Well, that again they're doing stopped... exactly what I want them to do, though. That's yeah. the that's the key. <laughs> Five thousand six hundred. I mean, what? I'd, quick... I want to see the footage of that because. Well, that seems to stop as quick as anything. To be honest with you, exactly. Five thousand six hundred revs of spin. Now, put that in perspective. If someone was hitting a strong lofted seven iron, there'd be comments in the, down below that are criticising the low spin number, when in reality, that's what 5,600 spin looks like. There's a descent angle thing happening as well, don't get me wrong. So again, good distance, stop, stone dead, we're into the Pro V1 there, now. 5,300, I know that one's not as close to the hole, but it was a good strike. So 5,300 5, revs with the, with the uh, Pro V. Yeah, great ball. It's right at it. What does it do? A little bit that's, short that, the hole. Well, looks like 4,025 4, revs there. Well, 4,000 so revs of spin, that looked as if it popped back to me. And again, we've got a camera on the green, so you're seeing the reaction better so than I was we expecting, can. When I was saying the spin was down on the seed there, I was expecting these to be... 9 or 10,000 revs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what... You, well, that's what you see. That's the advert. Yeah, that's... Well, yeah, it's not even more consistent, really, is it? It's just... So that's right Super on it. wedge play. Yeah. It's really, really sort of... All of them were pretty much the same. Again, low on spin. What was the spin say on the last So the Pro V1, it's just sat right in the middle there. 5,000. So... Interesting numbers. I'm going to move for one side for a minute. I can see there's a four ball on the tee behind us, Lou, and we'll do a bit of a, an evaluation on that, but I think it's fair to say both of us are a little shocked by what we've just, just seen there. Don't know what's going on. Right, Lou, we've just had, or you've just had a little walk forward there. One day, yeah. And the interesting bit is there, you know, I mean, you're seeing these on camera, so you know better than we do, but... The one on the right. Yeah. The one on the right is the only one that's zipped back. Yeah. That, that's noticeably come backwards. And that was the lowest spin. It's yeah, 4,000 4, reps of spin. All the flights were the same. You know, you, I, I'm hoping you'll be able to see the flight. Cause... Well, we will get that on, board, on shot tracing. But what we're seeing there is there's a pitch mark and then maybe a couple of feet the ball's hop forward. And that's the same for both the uh, Pro V and for the Seed uh, SDX1. So, again, nothing to split them in terms of ball flight. We see nothing to split them in terms of spin. I'd actually go, the, the distance control, I know you could say operator error maybe, but... It, it's more consistent distance control with this with the seat. Yeah, I think it was again visually. What's been interesting yeah, yeah. for me is that I've got a, sort of an affinity with seed. I played with ball for a long time, and obviously the numbers I've collected, collected rather, I don't want them to appear biased. So to bring you out here and to see you, yeah, do that, yeah. I thought there might be some big variables, yeah. and what I've seen so far is absolutely nothing whatsoever. So then we need to set up a, another scenario. We need to go longer with the iron. Definitely, yeah, yeah. See if we play a five iron, four iron and let's see if there's some differences at the longer end of the bag. So, 
absolute final ball hit. From what I can see, and we've got a camera planted on the green, we'll have a closer look very shortly. Um, where are we playing from, first of all, yardage-wise? So we're 183 to that pin. Okay. I always find this green quite difficult to hit. What are you playing, uh, four iron, five iron? Uh, for a little bit of breeze into, so I'm playing five iron. Five so, iron? Yeah, five well, iron. We've got, yeah, so. we've got certainly, we've got three that are really uh, telltale. We've got uh, yeah. two of the seed, one of the tight list. There's one a bit right of the tight list. I'm well, really interested in them three because okay. uh, two of the seed, one with the tight list, and data on the GC3 was pretty much identical. Was you, it? you couldn't launch data and spin data. So I'm really interested. From a ball flight perspective, there. they all seem to launch very similar. The ball flight was yep. very much the same. What about now again from your perspective, from a field perspective? Well, this is the one. This is the one. I was thought that yeah, I'll be able to tell. Mm. I couldn't tell. Couldn't you? I know it's five iron, and there may be other areas Down we're going to look at, end. but no. no. I'd have loved to have all them balls have been blank. Yeah. Because I couldn't. Tested, I yeah. couldn't tell which one was which. So. Right, we're going to put some overlays on for you now, take a look and uh, see what you think in terms of how these balls have reacted on the green. And we're going to move over to another scenario. I might even hit a shot myself, but I didn't fancy 185 into the wind. <laughs> we could have been here all day. Right, so we started off very much at the short end of the game. We then moved into the wedge, we then moved into a five iron. I just said to Lou about maybe testing driver, but not something you're interested in. No, not really. Um, I I'd never really pick a, a ball based on based on drivers yeah the feel of different drivers and the and um, the shaft would the, the shaft and head combos that affect spin and all i'm not really and i suppose even really again I'm, consistency I'm, of strike becomes more variable even at your yeah, level with a driver yeah maybe. yeah and i think you know we, how i would pick a ball would be the sort the of scenarios we that we, we looked at not on the driver not, okay so i'm just amazed yeah well i think before we go any further i'm just going to throw in front of you now and reveal what my dry ball data was that i collected earlier this morning so I hit seven iron, five iron, and, and I did it driver. Yeah. And if you look, I can't remember the numbers, but what I can tell you is there is virtually no difference throughout every one of the parameters. So not just yeah. a spin number and a carry distance, but things like launch angle, we're all very, very consistent. When I say consistent, consistent based on my quality of strike again. Yeah. But if you're looking now, I mean, pause this a bit later on if you want to scrutinize it, but seriously, the one, piece of data I do remember is the um, the average spin number on drive was literally one one thousandth of a rev per minute if that's the correct really? terminology difference so there was just nothing to split them and out here on the course like I've already said nothing whatsoever I think you were definitely I was skeptical to a degree before we came yeah, out yeah I'm amazed at the results I, I was I fully believed that I would be able to feel a, the difference mm. and there'd be a noticeable whether it be feel or how it um, reacted or yeah. or anything, but nothing. Um, nothing, nothing. I mean, I'm almost frustrated, aren't I? Yeah. So I, I really want to. No, no. I'll tell you the difference. No problem, but well, it's, it's, it's really uh, interesting. Like I said, trying to make these uh, as independent, as unbiased as possible. Yeah. And I think maybe Lewis is more unbiased in this situation than I would yeah, have been. I, I sell Pro V ones. Yeah. I don't sell seed balls. <laughs> there That's you go. independent. Doesn't get any it? more honest than that. So look. There wasn't the, the idea of this video, I think we've perhaps titled it, or the initial suggestion is we're going to title this video 300 million reasons as to why Pro Vs are a waste of money. We lose golf balls, they're very expensive, and my concern is that you're spending money on something that you just don't need, quite honestly, and you can get equal performance from similar balls and save yourself a whole lot of money. So that'll do for me, that's the only reason and logic you need to take from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for Lewis for taking the time to come out and uh, give his to Pennethworth. We're going to carry on. We've got a uh, couple of coaching videos that Lewis has done. Um, interestingly enough, again, one final request before we do go in this video. If you're near this vicinity, if you're we're in Hollywell Golf Club, which is in Flinch, North Wales, Lewis, top, top coach, make sure you give him a bell and get yourself up here. And uh, his best swing could be as good as mine one day, Lewis. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. See you soon.